the scratch code. Okay, today um we are going to be making a race car game on scratch. Basically a race car goes around the track and um tries not to go off the track. So this is what it's gonna look like. Hello guys, it is the Scratch Coder again. Um, I'm sorry that I already did the sprite, but that's because it takes a really long time and it would have taken up most of the time on the video. So, all you need to do is just make a racing car and duplicate it. And also, as you saw on the thumbnail or the title we're making a car game so once you've made your sprite double use two fingers and click on it then duplicate it and with the molding tool go ahead and just mold it around to make it look like it's a crashed car all right so then go to when green flag is clicked um when green flag is clicked, clicked. <laughs> why do I keep on saying clicked? When the green flag is clicked, forever, motion, move, five steps. And also, um, do this. So for when green flag is clicked forever, if touching color white, if touching color white, then motion move five steps and negative five steps. Wait, sorry, not negative five steps, negative ten steps. All right, good. Let's try that again. Okay. Now that is just to make it stop. I'm going to go ahead and fix up the black line on this costume. That is the starting line. Okay, also the finish line. Now we're back here. So I need to do negative 10 steps because it's already moving five steps. It's already always moving five steps. So I need to counter it. So it's basically with the two five steps, it's moving 10 steps. So that's what happens. Um, then when green flag is clicked forever, the if then statement, sorry, key right arrow pressed, then with motion, move 15 degrees to the right. So that will happen. Um, and also, just duplicate it, put the event on top, and change this to left arrow, 15 degrees left. Now, this is mandatory, this is, so then you need to do this, looks, when green flag is clicked, switch to costume one, and we need that because if it, because when it crashes, we're going to make it switch on to costume two, which is what we need to quickly do here. Um, switch to costume one, and then sorry, I'm trying to remember. Okay, yeah, 
Okay. Where is it? Point in direction 90. Because, if it's not a 90, let me change it like that and take away 90. It will carry on moving. Sorry. Stop. It will... Ah! Carry on moving forward in the direction it's pointing to. But we need it to move in the direction we want it to go, which is straight that way. And also you need to do this. I'm just going to fix up something on Sprite 2 because I've got something a bit wrong. Let me just fix that there. And then that little corner there. Okay, um, let's go over to Sprite 1. Need to drag this here. Stop. That. Drag that there. Point in direction 90. And it needs to go right back to the middle of the track, right there, at the very beginning of the game. So we need to go, go to Y44 and, or X44 and X146. So now, it stops when you touch white, when you've crashed, and it blows up. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Just remember to like and subscribe. Um, and once again, I hope it helped you. Um, and if you were watching this to see for help for another game which you're making, which is completely different, hope that it helped for that too. And just remember to put, well, if you're making any of the games which I show you how to make on Scratch, remember to share them and in the description of the game, put hashtag the Scratch Coder. Bye.